Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I just wanted to show a quick video on how to create a restore point on Windows 8. It's a little bit different from Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7, by default, it did create restore points at specific, uh, triggered by specific events. But Windows 8, I just noticed that they don't, it doesn't really make restore points by default. So, um, it's very important that you should have restore points. If anything ever goes wrong on your computer, you can always just restore it back to that point where the restore point was created so um, let me just show you guys how to create a restore point so first off you want to go to your computer uh, like your my computer if you have that you can right click that and go to properties if you don't have this icon on your Windows 8 then um, what you want to do is uh, you can go to file explorer you have your computer icon right here right click that and then go to properties okay so uh, let me close this so uh, here in your system box you can just go to uh, advanced system settings here right here click that and a system properties box will open up once this opens up click on the system prop protection tab over here click on that and it'll take a little bit it says it's searching here it's just looking through all your drives uh, it shouldn't take too long uh, for your computer uh, in general it shouldn't take too long at all just my computer has a lot of drives as you can see it has a lot of drives so it's just looking through all of them and uh, once it sh it it just uh, kind of discovers that then uh, it'll be good to go uh, so uh, let me just pause it for a second I'll come back when it's ready alright guys so uh, it came back and you can see it loaded it looked through all of the drives here that I have on my computer it'll look through all of your drives and it'll tell you whether protection is on or off if protection is on that means that uh, it'll do system restores of your drive but if protection is off then uh, you won't have any system restore points um, so what you want to do is click on the drive that you want to create system restore points for um, so for instance here I have my uh, C drive that's my where my OS is and I have this drive let's say for instance I want to uh, protect my backup drive too we can go uh, click on it click on that drive then go to configure and here you can say turn on system protection or disable system protection so uh, you can click turn on using system protection on a drive that contains system image backups will cause the other shadow copies to be deleted faster than normal so that's uh, I guess I guess if your computer has only one drive you don't have to worry about this if you have more than one drive then uh, you might want to prioritize which drives you want to back up so uh, here you're gonna you can turn it on and then after that you can allocate how much space you want um, you can adjust the maximum disk space used for the system protection so you can allocate a certain amount of space and that will be used for the restore point and after that just hit apply so for me I already have uh, this and this drive set as my restore drives I want those to be restored every time so once you have that set one, then just click on this over here you click create create a restore point right now for the devices that have system protection turned on so click create and enter a name for the restore point so let me just say uh, August 29th restore point 2013 click create and it will just say it's creating the restore point and uh, once it's done it's just gonna say restore point has been created uh, successfully and that is pretty much it after that you just have to see it says the restore point has was created successfully click close and uh, click OK. That's pretty much it. Your restore point has been configured uh, correctly. So on and off, you'd want to just do that just to create the restore points for your computer to keep it safe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.